Hey everybody, in today's video I'm just going to do a quick overview of how you can fix the value error in Excel. So this can be a particularly annoying one just because it's it can be hard to find where the error is coming from or what's causing it. And normally the situation is when you've got a text value doing some sort of calculation with the number because you need to do you need to involve only numbers in that and so if you're trying to multiply text divide text that sort of stuff you're going to end up with with a value error because excel is not going to know what to do with that and so this is an example here where i've got you know prices quantities total sales and now i'm summing these total sales now if i were to go to the, the formula tab and go through the evaluate formula button it's not going to be terribly useful because once I hit evaluate, it's just going to tell me an error. It doesn't tell me where that error is coming from or, you know, what what row or rows are, are causing the error. So it can be a bit frustrating because, you know, you don't want to scroll through hundreds of lines of or thousands of lines of rows potentially to try to find out where this error is. So one thing that I always do uh, that I find useful in situations like this is adjust my formula here. So right now I've selected the entire column, but let's say I start from you know, column one or row one and go to row 1000. So I've got about a thousand plus um, rows in here. And so a quick way to at least narrow in on where that error is coming from is adjust this range. So if I go to, let's say, row 800, I still get the error. If I go to 700, I still get the error, right? So let's go down to say row 500 still have the error so i know it's still further up in my data set go to 400 i still get the error and if i change this to 300 now it's now it's working so now i can see that rows 1 to 300 are fine so it's somewhere between 300 and 400 so let's say i go to 350 so 350 is already triggering an error so i'm going to scroll down to between 300 and 350 and i should find out where my error is so i go down and sure enough, there's my value error. So row 301, so just above 300. And so this one can be a bit confusing because you look at this, you know, I've got seven, I've got one. Why is it now multiplying correctly? I go to value formula again, click on this, and you'll notice here it shows in quotation marks. So that's your that's your hint that this is a, 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 a text value as opposed to a number. And so this value number seven, there's no space after but there's a small space before. So for whatever reason, I put in purposely a uh, space in front. When I get rid of it, that fixes my error. I go back up and now my total sales are calculating properly. Now, if you've got multiple value errors in your, in your, in your, in your data set, obviously that's, you, you still might have more cells you need to correct, but by adjusting your range here, and I can change this back to going for the entire column D, now it's fine. If I had more issues to, to fix, then I'd still have an error. And again, I'd, I'd follow the same sort of approach of, of narrowing that range just so you're not looking at absolutely everything, just narrowing in on it exactly which cells are, are causing the issue. So that's a quick way to fix the value error in Excel. 